Kamala Harris's acknowledgement of a deeply flawed immigration system strikes a chord with voters who are not only anxious about border security, but also about the very future of the nation. This candid admission evokes a complex mix of emotions, empathy, frustration, and a deep-seated fear of governmental inefficacy. America has tried so many of those failed policies before, and like we all know, we're not going back. We will move forward and take on the biggest issues facing our nation. For example, the issue of immigration. So I was attorney general of a border state. I went after the transnational gangs, the drug cartels, and human traffickers. I prosecuted them in case after case, and I won. So I know what I'm talking about. We know our immigration system is broken, and we know what it takes to fix it. Comprehensive reform that includes strong border security and an earned pathway to citizenship. Her remarks are a double-edged sword, highlighting the glaring contradictions in her stance. As someone appointed as the border czar, Harris's recognition of the system's failures under her and Biden's watch feels like a bitter pill to swallow. It's almost as if the promise of reform made nearly four years into the administration has turned into an echo of unfulfilled promises, raising questions about her leadership and commitment. For many, this feels like yet another chapter in a narrative of disappointment, where assurances of change are met with the stark reality of inaction. The public's discontent is palpable, fed by a growing sense that the administration is falling short of its most crucial responsibilities.